Well, I've had some questions about this Madsen bucket bike, how it charges and how the batteries work. And I have a used rad wagon there too. I thought I'd explain that. The batteries go in this slot here. They usually have a key. We have a custom bracket made by a local machinist, which you can see on the Vermont bike uh, nonprofit I'll link to. This is a lunacycle mid-drive motor that powers the pedals the way your foot would. And I've gathered they're more efficient than a hub motor. A hub motor, like on this rad wagon, is also good. The battery goes here, and the electronics go back here, and the motor is in that hub, and it drives the wheel. Uh, which I think is maybe a little less efficient than using the chain and the crank as you would pedal, but it still works. This is a 750 watt motor, which has been plenty powerful for me and one kid on a hilly Vermont scenario, and two kids if it wasn't hilly. This is a 1000 watt Bifang mid-drive, and I'll go inside and show you how they charge. Forgive the mess, but we have young kids, so, you know, uh, here's the battery. Looks like it's all charged up, but let's pretend it isn't. This is the Rad Wagon, 750 watt older battery. These batteries are just like a cell phone or an electric car, more like an electric car. They're probably just AA cells. So then you test the battery. As I said, this one's good, but if it wasn't, you would take the bucket bike charger. There we go. So you just charge them up and then put them in the bike. It takes a few hours, but we charge them every night, uh, like they recommend, even if you've only used a little bit. But in practice, this battery with the Bafang 1000 watt, my wife can go two or three days, but you don't want to leave them low because they give out quick at the end of a charge, especially up a hill. And that's about it. Happy holidays. Good luck charging out there.